What if I told you that the legendary IS-7, often seen as the peak of Soviet heavy tank design, once had a rival just as ambitious? Today, we'll explore the story of two forgotten giants, the Object 705 and Object 718, the contenders for what could have been the heaviest duel ever planned by the Soviet Union. In early 1945, the People's Commissariat of Tank Industry issued Order No. 66, calling for a new generation of heavy tanks stronger than the Object 701, which later became the IS-4. Two design bureaus were selected, SKB-2, led by Nikolai Dukov, and OKB, led by Joseph Koten. While Koten's team worked on the Object 257, SKB-2 began developing its counterpart, the Object 705. Progress was slow. SKB-2 was still refining the IS-4, and design work only began in June 1945, just as the Soviets examined the captured German Maus. The sheer scale and armor of the Maus impressed Soviet engineers and inspired them to pursue even heavier designs. From this, two projects emerged, the 65-ton Object 705 and the 100-ton Object 718. The Object 705 was one of the most distinctive Soviet heavy tank concepts of its era. It featured a diamond-shaped hull inspired by the Object 257's geometry, with armor up to 140 millimeters thick, sharply sloped at 60 degrees for maximum deflection. The cast turret, angled up to 57 degrees, housed all four crew members, including the driver, whose seat rotated with the turret to maintain forward visibility. It used a hydropneumatic suspension from the Object 726 and a 750 to 1,000 horsepower diesel engine, providing modest mobility for its weight. Initially armed with a 122 millimeter BL-13 gun, the 705 was later upgraded to the 130mm S26, a derivative of the naval B-13, firing shells at 900 meters per second with a 6 to 8 rounds per minute rate of fire. The Object 718 was the 705's monstrous successor, a 100-ton super-heavy tank armed with a 152mm M51, derived from the naval M31 gun. Its shells matched the BR-2 howitzer in power reaching 880 meters per second. The massive turret had 250 millimeters of frontal armor and even a remote-controlled turret with two 14.5 millimeter KPVT machine guns. Ambitiously, designers envisioned a 2,000 horsepower turbine engine, targeting a top speed of 35 kilometers per hour. By 1949, both designs were abandoned. Soviet doctrine shifted toward lighter, faster tanks, and the Ministry of Defense canceled all projects over 50 tons, 